My name is Brian Herbsitis, and I'm here to tell you about my exciting story writing the MTA. Uh, so it happened about 17 years ago when I first moved to New York City. It was uh, Halloween and I was going out for the Halloween parade and I decided as a young gay man moving to New York City that it would be exciting to go out in drag. So I decided to drag myself up as a nurse in a little cute little pleather nurse's outfit that quit at the crotch. I had a little Tweety Bird purse and one of those little Florence Nightingale hats with a little red cross on the top, you know, and a little purse full of band-aids, of course. And so there I was, looking great, uh, like a Florence nightmare, and I wound up going out on the subway. And there were some guys on the subway, you know, who maybe because I was in a certain part of town, like the Upper West Side, like around 110, Central Park West, they were sort of giving me the business, they were calling me Lamar, I didn't even realize that Lamar was the gay guy from Re Revenge of the Nerds until I got home later that night. But, you know, just people saying stuff, I guess they're not used to seeing drag queens on the subway. But then the worst part of the story is, um, you know, I went out, I had a great time, and you'd think that sounds good, right? Um, but I wound up meeting this guy, and it, he was cute. I, you know, I don't really remember his name. Uh, we had a great time, but then when I woke up at his place on November 1st, I had to go back to Queens on the uh, N train dressed as a nurse. Uh, with my makeup smeared and my stockings ripped and just sort of looking kind of sad and disheveled. And I guess the moral of the story is, if you're going to do the walk of shame, do it big.